what's this? I have a new movie to talk about? And it's something I saw in a movie theater and not on my TV? What? Has the world gone mad? What universe is this? Yeah, today I'm going to review the 2020 movie, the Spongebob movie, Sponge on the Run. Now the plot of this movie is where Spongebob comes home from work one day and finds out that Gary is missing because he's taken by this sea king named King Poseidon, played by Matt Berry, who wants to use snails for skin care. And Spongebob is really sad that Gary is missing, so him and Patrick come together and try to find Gary and go on a whole big journey. I really enjoyed this movie. Yeah, you all know I really love Spongebob, and I was looking forward to this movie, and yep, I think it was worth the wait. My first theater experience is Call of the Wild in February, and yep, as a first experience for the first time, I think this was a good movie to start it off with. I don't think it's at, it's definitely not as good as the first Spongebob movie, but I think it's on par with Sponge Out of Water. I really enjoyed it. The animation's very nice. Uh, it's kind of a shame it's not 2D animated because we hardly get any of those anymore, but I thought it was cool seeing Spongebob in a different style. It really, it was kind of, uh, it was different and it was really unique and it was a cool thing to see. Yeah, the animation, it's really great. It's very colorful. It's It looks just like Sponge Out of Water, you know, the like the computer animated sequences and all the actors from the show do come back and of course they obviously do really good yeah and rare keanu reeves how he was in the trailer he's actually not in the movie a whole lot i mean like he's definitely in it like he's in that scene in the trailer and he comes up in like a few scenes but sadly he wasn't in the movie as much as i thought he was gonna be but i thought keanu reeves he was a his character was fun. I liked I liked his performance. Uh, yeah, the movie it does kind of feel a little similar to Have You Seen the Snail, but except that you kind of see more of SpongeBob and Patrick's journey and their road trip. It has a good soundtrack actually. There's some pretty uh, pretty good songs in it, like like real songs, like Slow Ride and On the Road Again. Like there's some like actual real songs in it, and. Snoop Dogg is even in the movie. He plays a cowboy zombie. Just go with it. It's SpongeBob, of course. You think it's going to be weird. But, yeah, I thought I had a really fun time with this. I'm glad. First theater experience since February, and I think this was a dang good one to start off with. And, yeah, sadly, this movie's only playing in Canada in theaters. So, if you don't live in Canada, then. I'm sorry, you're going to have to wait till it's on digital next year, so. But if you live in Canada and you want to risk going to a theater, I think it's a fun watch for an hour and a half. It's not too long. It's, if you just want some laughs, I think this is a good movie to take your kids to. So, that's my review of the SpongeBob movie, Sponge on the Run. See you next time.